Hello everyone and welcome to March West Junction Term Day. Today I'm going to show you some of the bargains that I've had from uh, Rails of Sheffield. Uh, and also we're going to have a look at some detail packs that I've had from uh, Acura Scale. So uh, sit back, relax and uh, enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, to start off with the uh, bargains that I bought from uh, Rails of Sheffield are these MJA wagons. Now, on my last video I showed you that I purchased two of them. Well, I've managed to get some more. And uh, Rails of Sheffield were doing a sale on eBay where they'd uh, reduced them a little bit further. And plus eBay were doing something over a weekend where you got another 10% off. So I managed to pick these wagons up uh, for around £30 for the two, which uh, I think is quite reasonable for £15 a wagon. Something also that I've done with these wagons, if you watched my last video, you'll remember that the coupling between them had a terrible coupling bar. Now what I've done, I've added tension lock couplings and these are the Hornby tension lock couplings which just work out to the right length and if you look this is uh, I think these are third radius curves or maybe fourth but as you can see if I look down there it's miles away from the wagons game buffalo lock so uh, I think they're uh, worth changing just to get them looking a little bit closer than there was before I will possibly be changing these for hunk couplings and the good thing about hunk couplings is they do all different lengths of shank so you can adjust these to suit whatever curves you've got on your layout Okay, the other bargains that I got from Rails of Sheffield are these HIA Freightliner wagons. Now, again, they was doing them with reduced price uh, on eBay, plus with the 10%, and these worked out to just over £20 a wagon, which I think is quite reasonable. Uh, my local model shop does them for about 27 I've seen them around that price, and I've seen them up to 37 uh, I did have an issue with one wagon, uh, the detailing pack was missing and one of the little uh, hand brake wheels was missing, one of those there. I emailed them straight away just to say that the detailing pack was missing and obviously that hand brake wheel. Uh, within the next day they got in touch with me and just says is it in the box the little hand brake wheel and we've got a detailing pack for it to send out to you and unfortunately it wasn't in the box so it must have dropped out uh, when I was probably getting it out of the packaging and I couldn't find it and uh, fair play to Rouser Sheffield the next day they sent it through the post it arrived within 24 hours so uh, top marks for Rouser Sheffield for uh, customer service
Okay guys, we're over at the workbench and I've had this parcel arrive this morning from uh, Acura Scale. Uh, good service with them as well, it only uh, got ordered two days ago and it's here already. And uh, it comes well packaged for when you see what's inside. It's uh, basically fresh air. So yeah, here we go, this is what we've got. I've ordered some buffers and uh, some couplings. Now, uh, these are absolute bargains from uh, a curious girl. I've had some before, as you can see at the top there, and uh, the price of these is unbelievable. They're 2 95 a pack of eight, and uh, they come free post. You don't have to pay postage, so, uh, Postage aside, each pack, the buffers work out to about 37p. And the coupling pack, you get six couplings in, uh, which is the ones that go in the NEM sockets. And they were 195 a pack for six. So uh, again, uh, quite reasonably priced. So we're all kicking off about the, how Batman's Class 47 prices and Hornby's prices are all going up. But fair play to Curiscale, they've, uh, they've got some good stuff on the market that's quite reasonable. And uh, if you go to Backman and try and get some buffers, they're in around the eight to 10 pound mark. And I wanted some buffers originally for this wagon. This was the free wagon. It was a grounded body that you get uh, in Railway Modeler magazine. And I've made a base for it uh, to fit the body onto. Uh, and I needed some buffers because it didn't come in with buffers and the beauty of these buffers which uh, a lot of people go on about they're actually sprung so uh, which is something different because if you buy the ones from uh, Backman they're not sprung so uh, unless, I think they do some coach ones that might be sprung but uh, the wagon ones uh, are just metal end turned so uh, and I think they're quite uh, quite a good little uh, addition as you can see these ones have even got the shanks uh, painted so uh, as you can see they're silver all of them if you uh, pause the screen you can see the codes and the, there's various different types of uh, shank that you get I mean these are little stubby ones which go on a lot of the engineer wagons uh, and obviously you've got the, the more thinner ones and as you can see there's different details to the actual shank and uh, I think they're really good for the money so uh, there you have it guys uh, I think they're, they're worth purchasing and I think a lot of the model shops are going to be uh, stocking these as well so uh, that'll be handy uh, if you just want to do a bit of kit bashing I mean when you look at what the wagons come with these are park dundas i think the park solid or dundas uh, wagons they come with the actual uh, fixed buffers I'll, I'll probably be cutting these off and replacing them for some of these a uh, bit more detailed and sprung buffers Okay guys, that brings me to the end of this uh, video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, the whole point of bringing the video is because a lot of people, the morale's a little bit down because of prices and things like that. And I just thought I'd show that there is still some bargains to be had out there. So uh, don't all get downhearted with it, with the price increases. I've changed my buying habits and I start to buy more off eBay second hand 
as well as I go into my local model shop and just see what discounts they still give around the 15% mark and uh, just keep me here to the ground at uh, toy fairs and things like that and see what I can come across so uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, it's been enjoyable to make this video and uh, if you feel that someone you know might be interested in some of the things that I've uh, discussed in this video then uh, please share the video with your friends and colleagues uh, if you've enjoyed it please hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm of uh, ebay and uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel then please subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when i uh, release my next video so thanks again for stopping by stay safe everyone and i'll see you again soon bye for now